box in a name. Well, here's something you don't talk about. He baptised his son with the name Hamnet. Of course, that's proof. Proof he was the author of the play Hamlet. What do you say to that, Mrs. Snooty Snobby Smarty Pants? Well, that's an important point. But let's look at this more closely. Scholars agree that the play Hamlet has echoes of two ancient works, Beowulf and also the folklore legend about the Prince of Denmark, Amleth. A loose translation of that story appeared in 1570 in the fifth volume of Histoire Tragique by François Belleforêt. This book very likely made its way into the Cecil Library. That year, Shakespeare was six years old and Oxford was 20. Who is more likely to have had access to this scholarly French work? The 20-year-old Edward de Vere, who actually lived under the roof of the finest library in England? Or someone from an illiterate family who didn't own one book? It's true. At age 21, Shakespeare baptized his son Hamnet. Hmm. Could Shakespeare have managed to read the work Histoire Tragique in the original French? It's not likely, but if he had... Then why did this genius misspell the name Hamlet with an N? It doesn't make sense. And, as it happens, the name Hamnet is of old French origin. The anglicized Hamnet arrived in England with the Norman conquest of 1066. It became popular during the reign of Henry VIII. And so, the name Hamnet has absolutely nothing to do with the legend of the Prince of Denmark. Nothing whatever.